This tutorial has been cut into three parts. Part 1 is about the basic knowledge in Photoshop elements. Part 2 and 3 are about the practice itself. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I'm Martin W. Laos. Here we are in the original black and white photo. Obviously you can see many cracks and spots. With the zoom tool we can see some yellowish spots and black stains here and there. Here's another method to remove all colors. I take image mode and grayscale and I hit OK and I switch back to the RGB mode with image mode and RGB color which is the standard color mode in Photoshop elements what I'm going to do is remove the larger spots on the right side. So I take the spot healing tool and kind of paint over the white areas. As you can see, I have increased the speed up to three times the normal speed. I now take the polygonal lasso, change the feather to 10 pixels. This green area will be filtered. I quickly make a selection around the area. I take filter, noise, dust and scratches. I check if the filter is strong enough. Finally, a radius of 33 pixels and a threshold of 13 levels will be all right. I hit OK and I deselect. Select, deselect. Now the left side. With the spot hitting tool, I draw over the white cracks. I take the hand tool to see it all. I now take the polygonal lasso to make a new selection and use the same filter dusts and scratches I check the radius and the threshold and I hit OK and I deselect with the shortcut on my keyboard with the zoom tool I enlarge the top left corner by dragging it. Now the clone stamp tool. I clone from right to left. Notice the plus symbol, that's my source. I drag my mouse here and there, cloning pixel or small area from one point to another. It takes some time to get good results with the clone stamp tool. Time will help you out. With the zoom tool, I go to the top and I continue with the clone stand tool to correct the area. Keep your eyes on the plus symbol. Its position is determined by the Alt key or Option key for Mac users. It changes very often. In fact, you are the person in command. I now go to the right and continue the improvement. As you can see the plus symbol is sometimes close to the cursor 
or sometimes far from it. I'm cloning from right to left. You may refer to part 1, which explains how to clone. Now improving your hair. To see everything, I click on the hand tool. I drag the zoom tool diagonally. I now take the spotting brush and draw over the spots. I go closer with the zoom tool and resume the improvement. I'm looking for white spots, generally speaking. Of course it's quickly done. Her hair now. I switch to the clone stamp tool, her eyebrow, cloning from left to right. Back to the spotting tool, I continue my cleanup. Sometimes it takes many strokes to do the job, sometimes just one. Experience will tell you. On the left side, Always drawing with the spotting tool. You have to be patient. If you make an error, you may click on the undo icon seen at the bottom of the screen, right here. This will cancel any mistake you've done. I now take the clone stem tool to correct this deep black shadow line. And I do the same on her shin. Now the hair. I increase the brush size a bit. Now I'm correcting the texture on the background. I go to the right to correct the spots around her lower lip. Going back to the left, correcting the texture. Let's see how I've done so far. Back to the hand tool. With the zoom tool, I zoom in. Now I'm cloning her hair, the best I can. Also correcting some texture on the background. Sometimes the plus symbol, in fact my source, is far from my destination, as you can see. Therefore I avoid any repetition in the texture, and it looks real. Back to the hand tool to see it all. Once again, I zoom in. I take the clone stem tool and I increase the size to some 60 pixels. And I do the cleanup. To improve her shoulder, I zoom in once again. and quickly reduce the brush size to 10 pixels.
In that case, the shoulder, I must use a small brush. Otherwise, a large brush could not correct such small details. I'm almost done with her shoulder. On the left side now, I increase the brush size to nearly 50 pixels and clone from right to left. Back to the hand tool. Once again I zoom in. Adjusting the brush size. I'm fabricating some sort of shadow over the shoulder. Always with the clone stem tool I do the restoration. Moving to the right. Here I kind of rearrange her blouse, making new pleats here and there. Patiently, I continue the restoration. Okay, now the white color correcting its shape. Let's see how I've done so far. Back to the hand tool. For this area I will zoom in twice, because it's a very small part of the picture. Now you can see the cracks and holes in the picture, very closely. As you can see I don't have much room to do the cloning. Always with the clone stamp tool I do the cleanup. Now cloning from right to left. Now cloning from left to right. And I complete the task by cloning over this kind of white cloud. I increase the brush size in order to correct the curve line between those two shades of grey. Here and there. Let's see the result with the hand tool. Part 3 will conclude the improvement. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.